now comes the long patch repair so the alternative pathway to repair the damage in mammalian cells is termed as long patch repair in this pathway two to eight nucleotides are replaced uh, in contrast to one nucleotide which was replaced in case of uh, short patch repair in this case dna polymerase delta or epsilon catalyzes chain extension with the assistance of the rfc that is replication factor c clamp loader and the pcna sliding clamp so in this long patch repair dna polymerase delta or epsilon is used which uh, causes the extension of the chain instead of pol b or any other polymerase as the polymerase adds nucleotides to the 3 prime hydroxylan on one side of the gap so uh, you know this is a strand so on this side is a 3 prime hydroxyl group so the polymerase adds nucleotides to this side it displaces the 5 prime deoxyribose phosphate and on the other side of the gap so uh, as the new nucleotides are introduced on this side they are added on this side this on this side 5 prime deoxyribose phosphate is slightly displaced this this strand is uh, gradually extended and this strand is gradually displaced so in this way in this fashion it it goes on uh, then the uh, flap endonucleases cleaves the displaced strand and the dna ligase finally seals the remaining nick so uh, this strand this is newly synthesized and this one is displaced so this this portion may contain uh, four five six eight nucleotides so the flap endonuclease then cuts this this displaced end displaced portion and finally the dna like gaze uh, uh, seals the nicks the regulatory mechanism that selects long or short patch repair is not well understood if uh, there is uh, uh, some damaged dna the regulatory mechanism will select either short patch repair or long patch patch repair what determines this this is uh, not uh, uh, clear so here you can see this is a long patch repair again uh, this is the damaged dna uh, which uh, base this base is excised by dna glycosylase and then ap endonuclease introduce a nick here and then pole delta or epsilon adds new bases new nucleotides here these new nucleotides have been added to three prime hydroxyl end and this strand this one this is uh, gradually displaced so after that flap endonuclease cuts this from here flap endonuclease cuts this displaced strand and now this happens and uh, finally this gap is filled by dna ligase so in this way a damaged base is excised and finally this dna is repaired so this is uh, the summary of long patch repair when eukaryotic base excision repair begins with a dna glycosylase lyase the pathway is shown below so this is the pathway in the eukaryotes where the repair has been started by dna glycosylase lyase enzyme so this here you can see this is the damaged base and this base is excised by ap glycosylase lyase and then uh, because it has dual uh, function a nick has also been introduced here then ap endonucleases cuts this and then pole b pole b adds this 
deoxyribonucleotide to the 3 prime hydroxyl end and finally DNA ligase seals the nick. So in this way the damaged uh, base is repaired. So uh, three distinct glycosylase, lyase enzymes have been identified in E. coli. Three such enzymes have been identified in Scaromyces cervicii while six such enzymes have been identified in human cells. Virtually all the oxidized bases are removed by bifunctional DNA glycosylases in mammals. DNA glycosylase lyase excises the uh, damaged base and cleaves the DNA strand 3 prime of the AP site. So on the 3 prime of the AP site uh, uh, the strand is cleaved by this DNA glycosylase lyase. The resulting sugar residue at the 3 prime end is removed by the AP endonuclease catalyzed cleavage. So AP endonuclease, uh, endonuclease uh, cleaves the sugar remained at the 3 prime end. Then DNA polymerase beta adds a nucleotide and DNA ligase finally seals the remaining nick to complete the short patch repair. So here you can again see the same pathway. This is the damaged base and after a number of steps it is completely repaired with a new nucleotide here.